Oh, fans, look at that. It's 136 to the rampage. Good old Jared Trouss rolls in the broadcast booth. So up for tonight. And we're kicking it off with the, oh, Lord, the newly United States champion, Russell yeah. Cooper. And there he gets along in tow with the jackass, Johnny J. Jameson. The Laurel and Hardy of the backyard, folks. At All Hallows Mania 2, Russell Cooper did the unthinkable by defeating the former champion, Andrew Clay, and also other former United States champion, the Fat Asian, in the triple threat match. And you can best assure if you saw that, folks, that broadcast, the Walrus, the Jackass, played a factor in his championship victory. Let's see what these two goofs have got to say to open up our broadcast. Take it away. Glorious! I told you! I told each and every one of you! I am Notre Dame, <laughs> and this is the American hero, the representation of the modern day American dream, Whoa. the United States champion, the Bicon Russell freaking Cooper! So and don't forget, I'm a history maker, I'm a system shaker, I'm a record breaker, and I'm a belt taker, and no one, no one! can take that from me anymore. Oh yes, <laughs> blazing a trail of glory for our wonderful community. But tonight is not the only thing we have to deal with. You see, I have an announcement. Ah, but so do I. You see, let's get my announcement out of this way. As the current United States champion, I have been guaranteed entry into the Tennessee State Classic. That means, ladies and gentlemen, that Russell Cooper will soon be both Tennessee State Classic champion and United States champion, and before long after that, world champion. That's right, it's going to be the reign of two belts. Well, ask you shall receive, but these two have been on one hell of a hot roll. Bring out the great champion! Well, folks, like we're having some audio issues. We, I apologize for that, folks. Uh -oh. Well, we just heard it there. Russell uh -oh. Cooper has in, entered himself and in the Tuesday Classic number four. I guess in his mind, he thinks he's going to go out and draw the goal. But to do that, you got to get in his man, the Shade, the one that champion, who finally defeated the Nature Boy Gage Flair on all those many two. In our ring. This is blasphemy. On our and there is the champ along with uh, his secondary mastermind in tow, the pain maker himself. These two have been on one hell of a hot roll sort of late between Flair and their juggernaut problems and they've been ruling this place with an iron fist. It's been the Ledger and Painmaker show. Take him out, Jay. Black his ass out. And these two goose have entered the lion's den with these two lions. Let's see what's going to transpire with this one. Let's see what the shade and the pain maker have to say about these two's uh, claims or the or the Bicon's claim. Looks like Sir Elton Cooper has finally got some silver. Ah, uh, this coming from Wish.com Penguin. Painmaker, what we have here. It's a live shot from the Disney Channel in Pweekly and Jumba. <laughs> hey, it's better to be yeah. Disney Plus than yeah, Disney right. HBO Max, my friend. Now, what are you two misfits and what even fit on the All American Rejects band doing here? Yeah, All American. Wait, stopping this blasphemy from entering our show, <laughs> blasphemy our show, and making this look like a pigsty. Yeah, Fanny, I'm talking Absolute to you. Absolute blasphemy. And let me tell you why. The pain two of y'all want jackass. to come out here yeah. and try to spoil the pain maker and my big announcement. Exactly, Trumps. Battle What's the announcement? You're going to OnlyFans or Feet Finder? After all, you completely interrupted the announcement that I'm not the only one joining Black the out, TSC. Jay. Because you see, today, my friend here and my manager has a qualifying match of his own against Vinny Vince, which and doubles. My chances at that. It's going to get and when I that win belly. that qualifier, it's going to be like Montreal all over again. <laughs> it's going to be like good old right. Fast and the Beef 2000 doing the J-O-B to this S-O-B. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We know how your J-O-B goes. 
for fuck's sake. And second of all, I don't know what wet dream you think you have, but you ain't got no chance in heck of getting this. You getting this is like Elk John on his last tour, for God's uh, sake. Listen, And buddy. just like Michael, Michael Jackson, this ain't it. You know, speaking of YouTube misfits, I've got to ask something. I'm not leaving his mouth out of your sentences. This kind of reminds what? me of the good old days. What? You know, back with the industry, running what? it wild. But partner, people tell me I stab people in the back. You know the fuck I is. What? I really took a few pages out. Who's killed the knife? Do you think I'm? Y'all gonna kill us? Hey, man, don't let him get in your head. He's trying to get in your head. Listen, He's trying to get in the brain of what we have is special. I did that. You two, shut it, fatty. Yeah, you us two, the two of us, Tell have been running this plan. Well. You no. want to talk about my history? My history? Let's talk about yours, shall we? You went from an alpha, a king, a dominating force. To a chihuahua that I won't mention, and then now you get, now you got this, this. Oh, yes. You went See, to the bottom of the He's got this. I got a U.S. champion. I got a competitor that is actually here. That belt does not mean Jack Squat can this. This belt, may I remind you, was held by Grace, the late great Eddie Guerrero, the innovator of this whole entire workhorse division, Harley frickin' Ray. And do I need to remind you that the equivalent to this, the Continental Championship was held by you? So if you're going to discount the value of this division, you're discounting your own You can't even do subtraction the more or less We division. all know your division, pal, just shut up. It's in the history books, we know your d division. So you two clowns, you brought up the Tennessee State Classic. Well, you want to tell him our blockbuster announcement, Mr. Ledger? You two are retiring? I'll bring Don't the champagne. <laughs> After all, the two of you are, are merely carrying silver. I've got the gold around here. This title right here represents TBW, and the two of us are TBW. Without us, this place would crumble its foundation for So, God's without sake. further ado, I, I will be glad to make that astonishing announcement. Go ahead, Mr. Ledger. Ah, oh, you better hurry it up. I'm falling asleep. At the over Tennessee here. State Classic, yours truly, the Shade, along with my hostie, the Painmaker, yeah. will be yeah. co-hosting the event come December the 10th. Well, well, folks, the state classic is going to be hell so, on earth. Speaking of that ball-headed cue ball, oh. he didn't show up here. Is he and, even employed and, here anymore? And, hey, after the after the humiliating defeat of the Wolfman suffered, he ain't even here either. This is great. It's heaven on earth. And he's not here because I may do and I made good with my promise, Paymaker, that I would rip his face off. Ooh. Yeah. Black him out. Why don't you try that against this mile. man? You wouldn't even sniff it. So how about it, buddy? You like a little chaos, a little anarchy? I've got some news for you, Triple J. The juggernaut has actually informed the two of us. Yeah, that's right, we're speaking. That tonight, oh, oh. God, it'll be the formal Tennessee State Classic champion and the world heavyweight champion, the Shade, going one-on-one -on -one with your measly incompetent. <laughs> well, you think that's funny, huh? Yeah, it's oh, a black ass out, jackass. Well, tonight, you think you just elbow. like you didn't make it at Summer Bash, you won't be making it to TSC either. <laughs> and it'll be all due to the hands of the Shade and the Painmaker. Now hit our music, we're out of here. And I have to get ready for a match, after all. His hubris is going to get him right in the ass. We'll see if that little Weasley psycho can wear a nice little jacket and an arm sling. Well, folks, we're on the block, yes, yes, yes. the Shades and Painmakers hosting the fourth annual Tuesday State Classic Tournament. And also tonight, champion versus champion, the Shade with the Painmaker takes on Russell Cooper with Johnny Jet ringside. What a main event, folks! <laughs> well, as you all know, the TSC tournament is coming up. The last time this happened, I fell short in the finals. 
to Ledger. I can promise you that's not going to happen this time. This time I'm going all the way and that championship will be mine. It will be added to the collection the party killer has. And with Fat Asian after this and into the tournament, we got Flair versus the Qualifier, Cooper versus the Mystery Opponent, Fat Asian versus the Mystery Opponent, and Qualifier versus Jay Wild. And also up first, the qualifying match for the state classic number four. Andrew Clay takes on the Reaper, Joe, and is let's head down the ringside for this opening qualifier match for the fourth annual Tennessee State Classic Tournament. There you, there, there you see, folks, the former United States champion Andrew Clay making his way through the curtain to maybe qualify into this tournament. He has been in all three, all three tournaments. Could Clay get in his fourth, his fourth tournament by beating Joe Anderson tonight in that squared circle? He's got to keep all as many and two out of his mindset and focus on the present and the present is being the Tennessee State Classic number four. And Clay waiting on the arrival of his opponent for tonight's qualifying match is the Grim Reaper, Joe Anderson, who went toe to toe at all Hellas Mania 2 in the last man standing match against Jacob Young. Jacob Young walked away with as the last man standing due to duct taping the Reaper's feet to the post. And there you see the Grim Reaper, Joe Anderson. No Druid in sight. The Druid plays a very dark and, and, and disturbing factor for the Reaper. But with no Druid tonight, it might be a walk in the park for Clay. But the Reaper is no pushover. Not at all, folks. He is a former world champ, after all. There's our referee for this broadcast. We're going to get this match up underway. Qualifying match. Clay Anderson, one-on-one. -on -one. Circle the ring here. Close line, ducks it in the corner. Goes, look out. The Superman punch it down goes Clay. Wait a minute. One, two. My God, it's an upset. It's an upset. The Reaper has just quickly put away Clay. And then you see Clay rolling down the ring, walking over to the box, talking to the box again. He, this has not been Clay's month. And he just throws the box in the back. After losing the U.S. title at All As Many and Two, he now lost here to Joe Anderson, the qualifying match due to that box. That box has, I guess, lost its power. But anyway, folks, let's see what kind of grimly like damage the river can do at the fourth annual Tennessee State Classic. When the pressure's on, I never knew you cared. Hey, now, and the cross you'd wear it becomes your falling ghost face down. And there you see it, folks, out there in the fourth annual Tuesday State Classic Tournament, December the 10th, 2022, live here on YouTube. Don't miss the fourth annual State Classic.
Prophet Jay Wild making his return back at the State Classic for the Football World Tour Champion. And ladies and gentlemen, here's the update and look at the bracket. And let's head to the ringside for the qualifying match number two. And here it comes right now. The neglected one, Vinny Vince, as we just heard earlier in the broadcast. The jackass, Johnny J. Jameson, has a qualifying match against Mr. CYN, Mr. Neglected, right here. Vinny Vince. Making his way to ringside to take on the lackey, the guy that carries the bags for Russell Cooper, Johnny J. Jameson. There you see Vinny Vince pacing in the ring, waiting on the arrival of Johnny J. Jameson for this qualifying match. Looks like Vinny's got something to say. So we finally found out who was the winner in the Loser Leaves Town match. Here I am, and I'm declaring myself in the Tennessee State Classic. Boss man ain't here tonight, and I've just been informed who my opponent is. So get your ass out here, Triple J. Oh, and folks, here's the music of, well, you might have known that Russell Cooper, the United States champion, will be out here to, to assist his manager in this state classic qualifying matchup. And there is the United States champion, and there he is, the opponent for the young upcoming mini events. Johnny J. Jameson. And the J does not stand for jerk. It, it stands for jackass. And you see the jackass getting in the, in the ring now. Ready to do battle against Vinny, the neglected one, Vince. It's a has And there you see Johnny J with some words there to our cameraman. And there you see Cooper taking the coat from his manager. And there's our referee for this brought for this contest between Vinny Vince and Johnny J. Jameson. Qualifying match number two, Vinny Vince and Johnny J. And here we go. Caught him on top of the big man pushing Vinny Vince back. Oh no. Oh, the overhand chop to the chest of Vinny Vince. Oh no. Come on, he's getting the ref for the lip service. He, uh, he just, but he pokes oh, the eyes, oh, poking me, he's jabbing. Oh no, the big man full out of steam and like a collision. He splashes into Vinny Vince. And Johnny J is having a ball on oh, another splash. Look who's sailing, who's safe. What in the name of God? Gonna go for another one. Oh, thank God, Vinny Vince run right away. And now Vinny Vince now taking it right to the big man. The big man's not going down. John Clark with a close line attempt. He's taking, wait, he's taking his eye off the ball. Look out, Johnny J. Timber. And Vinny Vince gets it with the shotgun drop kick. The shotgun drop kick. Down goes Johnny J. Down goes Johnny J. No. Vincent now yes. with a DDT oh, on to, to Johnny J. Referee yeah. checking oh. or keeping an eye close. Look at this. Vinny Vince now incoming the Centon. The Centon splash. And he's going to go for another one. A set. No, what, what, a tilt to whirl of some sorts. Incoming. There's another Centon. Three Centons. With that little tilt to whirl on the second one. Oh no, he's gonna go with some grub. Don't do it! You might get rabies! Oh god, he's biting the hand of the jackass! It's like biting into a Thanksgiving turkey for God's sake. Uh oh, he's gonna put he's gonna put the exclamation point on this one. He's gonna go to the heavens. Look at Russell Cooper looking on in coming timber! Frog splash! The frog splash! That's it, cat wrap one! Two, and then events is going on to qualify for the state classic number four. And Russell Cooper is beside himself. He's pissed, and he's people, and he's pissed. That's one body to go. What a victory for Ben Events, putting away the jackass. Johnny J. Jameson. And it looks like Vinny Vince is getting up. Johnny J. taking out the trash. And down goes Johnny J. to the outside. To the 
outside he goes. Down goes Johnny J. The love of God. And Cooper is helping to the back. Yeah, get back to wherever the heck y'all two come from. And Vinny Mitch still looks like Vince has got more to say. say. Take it away, Vinny. At All Hallows Mania 2, there was a specific individual that bumped into me backstage. Yeah, what was that about? I'm familiar with that guy. Who I don't want to do nothing with that guy because all he does is just bounce around in other feds and the Underground Pussy Alliance, the oh! Bitch Federation wrestling company and everywhere else that he goes is not relevant to tbw now let me just say this tbw we make stars we bring the ratings we bring wrestling we got character we got storylines and you guys get mad at us no no it's not getting mad it's jealousy it's jealousy of the shade it's jealousy of joe anderson it's jealousy of the alpha it's jealousy of nature boy games Woo! jealousy of vinnie vince yeah we love you Vinny. Excuse me, excuse me, I'm running out of my breath, but all I gotta say is to Mr. Viper, you've been warned. Yeah! And folks, yeah. what a very emotional yeah. Vinnie Vince going into the fourth annual Tennessee State Classic Tournament after defeating Johnny J and declaring himself in the State Classic. What a victory, Vinnie! Film me again. This week, was supposed to be the week I was going to get my chance to be back in the Tennessee State Classic. I've been in it every time, but you seem to fail me. This makes the third time. Three times is not the charm. Now we'll show them who they will fear. Come, brother. Believe. Join the prophecy. Drink. <laughs> Let's go. And folks, what does this mean for the future of Andrew Clay? Yeah. Hey. Stop it, bitch, and I start. Hosting the state classic. Exactly. The main marquee where the two of us belong, Painmaker. Exactly. The, like the kings that we are, hosting the, one of the prestigious tournaments of all time to see what victim gets a shot at this in the near future. So, whoever, whoever the lucky winner is 
I hope you got your A game already planned up. Whoever your worthless, unlucky swab soul may be, because whoever it is, you have no chance against the greatest two masterminds in this company today. And come on, Paymaker. We've got a lesson to teach. Exactly. Looks like the shade is going to be teaching Rosa Cooper a lesson in respect. And up now, folks, it's the man of the evening. It's the shade with the pain maker versus Rosa Cooper's Johnny J. Ringside champion versus champion in the main event of Rampage. It's the other rings up for focus that time. It's always, it's me! Time on Rampage. Champion versus champion. Cooper versus the shade. And keep in mind, folks, the last time these two you gentlemen faced off was episode 131 on Rampage. And back then, I believe, well, my, my members are correct, the shade was not pulling no punches against Cooper. It was another little chaotic beatdown by the shade and now here but it's a different story now cooper as the united states champion might have a, a, a new edge but also he still has his manager his luggage carrier the jackass ringside now we're waiting on the arrival of our world's heavyweight champion, the Shade, along with his mastermind, the Painmaker himself. And keep in mind, folks, December the 10th, the fourth annual Tennessee State Classic, hosted by these two. And this tournament couldn't get any more scary, any more worse. These two take the cake. These two are hosting this. And I swear, with these two hosting it, this tournament will be turned upside down on its head, on its foundation, for God's sake. And there you see the champion slowly, methodically walking the tightrope, if you will, to get into the ring, take on the Bicon, or as Johnny J would say, the, Ameri the new American hero. And the mind games are already in set, in motion. It's the Shade versus the Bicon American Hero. And like I said before, as Johnny J would say, the American Hero, which I find ridiculous, preposterous, American Hero. Their last encounter was a cakewalk. Will this encounter be the very exact same thing? But keep in mind, the pain maker is in for the Shades corner and the jackass is in for the American Heroes corner. So this could go either way, folks. Like we said, it's champ versus champion. There's no title to stake. I want to point that out very clearly. So anything can happen in this main event match. Anything, folks. Here we go. Bell has sounded circling the ring. Call it away. We'll go by the arm drag. And folks, you got to think the shade is taking hero here lightly. And there you see Johnny J raising up the United States Championship. Like that means something to him. Ain't no beginner's luck, partner. But anyway, we'll go behind by Cooper, showing his marathon technique, showing he can hang with the world champion, with him being the United States champion. And now the shade up to his feet, off the rope goes the shade, gonna go over a clothesline, ducks that clothesline, and the shade with a clothesline of his own. The speed, the agility, the cat-like quickness, and there's more clotheslines being eaten up by the American hero. The Shade gets some words of encouragement from the other mastermind. And now oh, the clothesline in the corner. And the chops and the electric bill is being paid up chaotically, might I add, by the Shade Hours up into the corner. It's coming, the clothesline in the corner. The chops are at it again. More chops being applied. Dodges it. And now the, the, the Cooper now is chopping away at our world's champion. And now Iris went reversal by the Shade in coming bang, chest first. Ooh, right, left, right, left. Ledger taking in control of the United States champion. And now reaching the arm there. Take down, go behind. 
And the shade reaching like, like, a, like an anaconda vice type maneuver there. And the referee, you being very cautious, checking on the, the bicon. now Cooper fights out. Shade goes back off the ropes. He's coming cl clothesline by the bicon. The second clothesline. And now Cooper, bam, the clothesline in the corner. In the midsection, the, the mid oh, and the DDT, and oh god, the shade, the world champion's head got spiked. One, two, no, the kick out, a ki a one kick out, what a quick kick out by the world's heavyweight champion. And now Cooper applying pressure to the neck. He's got the choke locked in, working on the neck. And now the shade trying to get their feet into a vertical base. Off the rope goes Cooper. Incoming. Drop kick. The Bicon eats a drop kick by the one away champion, the Shade. And now the pain maker is telling the Shade, work on the limbs. Get every stop on every body part that he can. And he's doing just that. Champion, you the shade that shuts up the big mouth. And they, and a, a roll up, schoolboy, roll up, look out! Oh, you didn't got that was close. That could have been close. Inches, perhaps. Inches, I say. Close line. Oh, wait, no, reversed. Here come the chops again. And look at this. Here it goes. A little snap suplex by the shade. Snap suplex. Cover. One, two, and up two and a half. Two and a half count. Kick it right there. The shade working on the arm. Applying pressure, trying to maybe break the thing off. Who knows? The shade still reaching and taunting Cooper to give up, or he'll break it or snap it off the. Oh, look out! Another roll up. One, two, on the rope break. The shade with the ring awareness and the ring technique to grab the bottom rope and get a rope break. And now Cooper in the senior position in, in the in the shade's corner. And now the shade stomping away on Russell Cooper the bike on. And look at this! The pain maker scouts with the eyes of the champion! He's got gonna rip his eye out of the socket! Good move! And the shade distracting the official ever. And good he's stomping a butthole! And good God, he's gone berserk! He's gone crazy. Get that man a straight jacket, David. Get him a straight jacket. Look at that. Oh, he missed it. Oh, thank God he missed that knee. Good guy. You know what catastrophic that could have been? Knee got the skull. Good grief. Cooper now with a king of the big section and a little fisherman suplex. Pinball, one, two, the mat technique and words of Cooper has been off the chain this far. And now Cooper reaching, applying Ooh, the choke. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what he the heck he's doing, but he show, the chuck applied shoulder got up. He still got a wrench though. He, he tried to get the and go for a pin position within that choke, but now he's trying to and then look at the shade, he's trying to power out. He's on it, the shade's on his feet, on the tiptoes. And the shoe reverses out, and the eat defeat. And Cooper eats a foot sandwich, courtesy of the shade. What smarts, the knee drop, bam, right on the chrome dome. The pin, look at that, one, two, and oh my God, a kick out. He kicked out, but what psychology, what awareness for the shade to power out using his legs. And hit him with the eat defeat. What a power outage right there. Ask, your are And now the shade with a choke applied. Referee watching over, making sure that Cooper either passes out or taps out. The love of God, what's going to transpire next? Johnny J on one side, pain maker on the other. Back burn it up. Get the headlock, take a world drag. Uh oh, uh hey, oh. It's time, it's time. I'm going to kick your ass. Suicide bullet. Down goes Cooper. Down goes Cooper. Courtesy of the suicide bullet by the shade. Our world's up with champion. Both men down in the heat. Referee the ring counting away. The shade slowly calling for the pain maker to assist aid to the shade. And you see Johnny J pick it up. Both, both managers pick it up. Both the... Both champions go get them, and go into their respectable corners. Oh, yeah! The get shade, him. like a house of fire, taking down Cooper. And now, referee getting up to the count of eight. The shade reaching the arm. Head first. Cooper gets poached, but I get back in the ring, though, boys. And now the shade throws Cooper back into the ring. Now, Ledger now running off the rope. Incoming clothesline dunked by Cooper. Sling blade. Finish Ledger with a sling blade.
The shade looking at the pain maker and the pain maker to the top, Mr. Ledger, to the top. And now it's time for an air ledger for the outreach district. And the frog splash connects. Count one, two, and a kick out by Cooper. And wait, the shade not going for that official submission. It's the last laugh. The last laugh is locked in. He's going to stretch that face. He's making it like his own Joker smile. And the shade, look at this. Oh, what good God. A go behind. No way. He's going to reach the arm. Cooper, he, it's, the, it's the pride lock. He's got the champ, the world champ of the pride lock. Ledger is in deep, deep trouble. Will the champ submit? In the, way, the foot on the rope. The rope break with the foot. Good. The, the IQ and the ring of orders of the shade is unmatchable, ladies and gentlemen. And now, Cooper on both knees. The shade on one knee. Back and forth. Punches and punches. Here we go. We're getting down to the nitty gritty of this, in this champ versus champ man event match. Chops applied. And I want a, a shot at the chin by Cooper. And look at this back and forth. And look at this. Here goes the champ. The nip of the foot and the super kick. The leap frog and the super kick. Pin by one, two. And a two and a half by Cooper kicking out there. Johnny J and Paymaker, both my respect for respected corners, keeping a close eye on both athletes. You almost took me out. I like this. I right in me. Cooper trying to get to a vertical position. Woo! Let the shade now pulling them up by the hair and the chin and these, and these punches taunting. A little headlock takeover snap bear. And a choke Bond applied, and now Jesus. Johnny J is is, is, is sweating on, bullets, man. and rightfully so. Painmaker looking on as well. He's in the shade now, is still reaching, trying to trying to oh, see if the, look at the little headlock takeover is on. He powers out. Look at Cooper incoming the roll through. Close on in the corner. Cooper right at the top of the corner again. Here he goes again. The close on the coming end. No. Oh, he got posing. The psychology. The green psychology. Look at this. And now the, the, the root cord. Matella. Bam. Right to the jaw. And oh, no. Oh, the slam. The angle slam by the shade. This could be it. The final there on the coffin. It's the black and Bam. That's it. Stick a fork in it. He's done. Look at this one, two, and oh, there's the jackass! The jackass! Has he got a death wish? Is he, he just pulled out the chip! And oh, the shade is on the hood! Well, look behind you, you idiot! Oh no! Don't turn around! A bionic elbow by the pain maker! You stupid moron! And then look how he goes! Taking out the trash! There goes Johnny Chapin! Hey, the blackout missed! Oh no! Rainbow Road incoming! Oh no! It's the last lap again! He's got it locked! He's got that mouth wrenched! Smile for the camera! It's the last lap again! He's gonna rip his lips off! He's gonna rip his face off! He's gonna do it! And Cooper is tapped the last lap! It's been Cooper's last lap in the main event! What a victory in the win column once again for the Shade. The Shade victorious over Flair. Alice many two and he's a night victorious against Russell Cooper. What a victory for the Shade and the Painmaker. And like I said, December the 10th. Tuesday State Classic number four, your host, your host and hostee right there walking out with a victory. Most importantly, who is going to win the fourth annual Tuesday Classic Tournament? That's all we have on Trudeau. Good night, everybody. And we'll see you at the Classic, folks.